Jada. I love you. G.I. Jane 2. Can't wait to see it. All right? It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the <laughs> to me. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your f***ing mouth. Shut up and sit down. Hey, you skellywags. We're back again with another 118 toy news vid. Hold on to your wallets and grab an umbrella as we kick things off with Acid Rain and the rest of the brand new Bucks team. Following on from the release of Bob and Jack in October, we have the newly designed King Shield Striker. King has been a busy man in the wake of the Bucks team's triumphs in Kroonin and beyond, with Alderman pulling Bob into a more senatorial position. The way has been cleared for King to step up and take on the role that he was primed for taking over as commander of the Bucks team. He has since taken a key role in updating and improving the structure and disposition of the Algerton National Army. Although he has the full confidence of his teammates and colleagues, King pushes himself to be better and do more. After all, he has big shoes to fill. His power armor, codenamed Vanguard, received some influence from Bob's design in utilizing a modular tactical vest. But on top of that, King asked for a special electromagnetic glove known as the Impulse that can be either mounted on the shoulder as a shield for extra defense against enemy fire or used offensively, allowing King to more powerfully express his incredible close quarters combat martial arts prowess, bashing in enemy heads and then releasing a powerful burst of electrostatic charge. Encased within the extra hardened power armor, King leads from the front lines demonstrating to all that he can follow in Bob's legendary footsteps. Due out in November with King, we have the newly designed Steel, Unstoppable Bomber. While the others have wrestled with the changes the Buck team has undergone, Steel has taken them in his stride, being able to take down the Hisrael Fortress and thereby avenge his father's death and close that chapter of his life helps Steel to grow not just as a soldier, but as a man. Happy-go-lucky Bomber has enjoyed passing on his skills to other would-be demolitionists and bomb disposal experts. He has also, in his spare time, taken up a course in architecture at the University of Orth. As Buck's chief demolitionist, Steel requested that his power armor, codenamed Blockbuster, be able to link up with an external dual arm mechanical appendage that has both practical in manipulating explosives and combat in punching enemy combatants applications. Notably, the external appendage also allows Steel to both lay explosives and fire weapons at the same time, meaning there is never a moment for the enemy to relax. For Steel, more firepower is always needed. To round out the Bucks team in November's release, we have Argus, Nocturnal Predator. The Bucks team's recent successes have changed much and more, but not Argus. The Soil Ghost Sniper has steadfastly resisted any attempts to integrate him into the Argerton military in a more senior position. He continues to make himself available whenever he is needed, in particular when Bob needs him. He always seems to be at hand, but otherwise no one could be quite sure of his whereabouts. Rumours of him training his daughter in the woods around Fierla or skirmishing in the Istancian Grey Zone in cooperation with the Hellbenders, but they cannot be confirmed. His new armor makes him that much harder to pin down. Codenamed Nighthawk, it comes with a special quint-eye holographic helmet made of a semi-transparent alloy with five motion and heat sensors. Combined with his mechanical backpack, which can be used to set up a second sniper rifle and fired using a remote control system, Nothing escapes Argus's pursuit. On top of that, and the Fossetti power weave for added protection, 
designers provided him with a python stealth cloak. The shifting dark silver blends perfectly into the background and actually obscures body heat emissions, making the sniper almost impossible to locate on a battlefield, even with thermal imaging technology. Unseen, Argus delivers his unique justice to any who would cross him or his family. The new designs for Box Team have been a point of contention amongst the community. I, for one, am all in, despite the stupidly high prices for each figure. The whole team available in October and November. We start off Joy Toy News with a new prototype for the Battle for the Stars series, this power armor suit. Not much information available at the moment, except that there'll be Assault, Sniper, Heavy Armor, Medic, and Engineer and Communication types. Whether that's a complete figure within the power armor suit is yet to be seen. But it does look like there is some space in there. So we'll have to wait and see how that works out. Looks a bit too snug though. The first of the May solicitations from Joy Toy is the Xingxian Mecha. Joy Toy's 118 scale large size Mecha is looking quite healthy after the Fear series. This mecha coming complete with figure, a load of weapons, accessories, minus the soft goods, which I'm all for. It comes with two blade weapons at the forearms, the scythe weapon, which looks to be able to join together, and this large rifle also coming with two pistols for the mech looks like joy toy have opted for an open hatch cockpit at the top where the figure is able to be seated as opposed to the horrible standing fear cockpit we got previously it's nice to see colored details inside the cockpit as well it looks like clip-on armor parts as opposed to the horrible straps we got with the fear. The pilot's helmet seems to look like something out of Fallout, but all the armor pieces I think are brand new for this figure. Unfortunately, no unhelmeted head. Solicitation is $179, but that will probably come in a bit cheaper at retail. The first of the May solicitations from Joy Toy and their 40k line is the Blade Guard Veterans. With swappable helmets to heads, these come heavily armoured with a wealth of extras. Recommended retail $225 for the 3 pack, which will probably be cheaper when it releases in May. The first on show is Brother Sergeant. Proximo. Each figure standing at an impressive 13.6 centimeters will tower over your existing intercessors, infiltrators, and incursors. Next, we have Blade Guard Veteran 2. All three figures seem to be a lot sturdier than the previous Librarian release. Video review of that figure now up on the channel. Lastly is Blade Guard Veteran 3. All three figures coming with the exact same weapon loadout, except for this figure, which seems to only have a holstered sidearm. From the Chaos Space Marines, we have the Black Legion Havocs. Here is the Havocs champion, Brother Slail. At 15 centimeters to the top, complete with rifle and chainsword, Brother Slail means business. 
all very highly detailed and articulated. Havoc's Marine 2 comes equipped with a huge weapon on his right shoulder that is attached to his backpack. Coming in at 13.2 centimeters in height, all three will make a great addition to your Chaos Space Marine army. Havoc's Marine 3 has a giant minigun and stands at the same height as Marine 2. This three figure set will be available in May for a recommended retail price of $255. And if that wasn't enough to satiate your Havoc's hunger, we have two more, starting with Havoc's Marine 4, with what looks like an amped up assault rifle attached to the Marine's backpack. The set of two is at an RRP of $170. And finally, most impressive out of the whole new Havocs line, in my opinion, is Marine 5. Complete with the giant right shoulder cannon and mechanical arm, this guy looks like he's ready to do some damage. As well as the sets, you should also be able to find these at retail at single release. Lastly, we have the venerable Dreadnought and the heroes of the chapter. Currently solicited as a three pack set for $129. This is likely to be available in June. We'll have to wait and see to see if they'll be available individually. First up is brother veteran Sergeant Castor. Besides a few differences, this sergeant looking pretty much similar to the sergeant that was released with the previous intercessor set. Before we move on to the next character in this figure set, I wanted to give a big shout out to Joe Bun Customs on Instagram. He created this custom Primaris Lieutenant Titus from the upcoming Space Marine 2 game coming out later this year. Go check his Instagram, link in description. Next up looking similar to Titus is Primaris Lieutenant Erastus. Not as tall as Joe Bunn's custom, these figures will stand at 11.7 centimeters tall. Lastly, from the heroes of the chapter is Primaris Ancient Posca. I believe this is the first release we've got that also comes with a banner. One that fans have been clamoring for is the venerable Dreadnought. Coming in shorter than the Invicta Warsuit at 20 centimeters, the venerable Dreadnought will have fully articulated joints and solicited at a recommended retail price of $145, which will likely come down at release, which is expected in June. New from Mezco is the deluxe two-figure set, The Crow. This 3.75 inch figure set will have two iconic looks, both bearing the likeness of the actor Brandon Lee from the original movie. With five points of articulation, there'll be a number of multiple removable limbs and will be available February 2023 for $36 plus shipping.
new from Ashley Wood's Pocket Universe by Underverse is the Shogun Tomorrow Kings. These are highly collectible action figure art pieces by Ashley Wood, sporting his unique design style. Available through Big Bad Toy Store or directly at underverse.com, each figure will have 12 points of articulation. It comes complete with left arm armor and sword and sheath. As with the previous releases, the designs are exactly the same, with just different color variations. To get them for slightly cheaper than BBTS prices, they are still available on underverse.com for $59 shipping worldwide. Due for release end of 2022. So that's it for now. Me and the lads did a recording of a podcast, it's probably have out on the weekend. A few other videos which will be coming up also, so look for that. If you're in a position to help out the channel, check out the YouTube membership or go over to Patreon at patreon.com forward slash scalywags tv to my patrons thank you very much for hanging in there with me you guys are the skelliest of skellies and our producers of these videos and thank you all for supporting the channel whether you're subscribed you like a video you watch it you share however you support me thank you very much and until next time i'll skell you later <laughs>